Setting up your integration with QuickBooks correctly can make it so you don't have to make any adjustments when using Noify and pushing data to your QuickBooks account. In the QuickBooks page on the dashboard, you can click click here to get started, or click where it says set up sync if you haven't done this yet. First it will be prompted for your accounts receivable. Most QuickBooks accounts will just have one accounts receivable, so this should be an easy one to map. And if you open up your QuickBooks account, you can see that the account type should be set to accounts receivable, regardless of what the name is. Once this is set, all invoices generated in Noify will automatically map to the register for this accounts receivable account. The next field we'll map will be the default service for income. This is going to be the product or service that's used whenever you create a new invoice in Noify and push it to QuickBooks. You'll see that it's set to sales now, and I'll open up QuickBooks and create a new invoice so you can see where this pushes. When I'm creating an invoice in QuickBooks, you'll see that there's a field on the left that's labeled product slash service. This is where you're entering as the default when you set up your default income service. You'll have the opportunity to override it when creating contracts and invoices, and you have plenty of other ways to be more specific, but this will always be the default if no other account is selected. Next, you'll be prompted for the default client payment account. This will be for when you're recording payments in Noify, and in this case, payments that you receive from clients. You'll see that in QuickBooks, when I'm marking down a payment that's been received, it'll ask where the payment's being deposited. This account should always be mapped to a bank account. This way, when you record a payment in Noify, it knows where to push in QuickBooks. When we're done with our income defaults, we'll set our accounts payable. Similar to accounts receivable, there really should only be one option, and this is going to be shown as the type accounts payable in our chart of accounts. This will set up where we map all of our bills to when they're entered in Noify and then pushed to our QuickBooks account. Once that's set, we'll set our default expense account. This will be for the expense account used for any new bills or expenses that I enter into Noify and push to QuickBooks. We'll create a new bill in QuickBooks for example, and you'll see that the first field on the far left is for category. This is where you set your expense account when in QuickBooks, but if you generate a new bill in Noify and it syncs, then it needs a default. Just like invoices, this can be overridden on each transaction or per each vendor, so none of this has to be permanent for all expenses, but this way we have a default if nothing else is selected. Next, it'll ask for the vendor payment account. This is similar to when we set a client payment account, only instead of setting a bank account that we deposit our funds into, this is which bank account we actually use to pay for our vendors. And again, this should be set to a bank account as opposed to an expense account. Next we're prompted for a default service for time entries. This will be for when we sync hours from Noify to our QuickBooks account. In QuickBooks, each time entry can be accompanied by a service so we can see what type of work was being done, and so setting a default makes it so we have one type of service that's automatically assigned to all hours that are synced from Noify to QuickBooks. The last two settings will be our default income account and expense account for new services and products that are added to Noify. This will sync from Noify's catalog to your products and services list in your QuickBooks account, and it'll be for any new items that are generated in Noify. You'll see that when you're generating new products and services in QuickBooks, you're prompted for a default income account, and then if you specify that you also purchased the item, you'll be prompted for a default expense account too. By setting your default income and expense account for all new items that are added to your Noify account, you can ensure that all new items that are added to Noify will always sync to your QuickBooks. Once this is set, you'll be good to go to start integrating with your QuickBooks account. And if you ever need to adjust this information or get more specific with your mapping, click where it says QuickBooks on the left hand side of the screen and you can adjust your expenses, income, job, and catalog defaults. If you have any other questions on this, please don't hesitate to reach out to support at noify.com.